This talk is an overview of the diagnosis of Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder, also known as ADHD. In this talk, I'll review the ADHD diagnosis in the DSM-5 with mnemonics and visuals. The two major symptom clusters in ADHD are inattention and hyperactivity impulsivity. Let's start by outlining the inattention symptoms. There are nine inattention symptoms which you can remember with the mnemonic forgetful. Forgetfulness, poor organization, reluctance to do difficult tasks, gaffes, which refers to making careless mistakes, easy distractibility, losing things, having difficulty following instructions or finishing tasks, being unfocused, which refers to difficulty sustaining attention, and difficulty listening. To meet criteria for the inattentive subtype of ADHD, a patient must have at least six of these symptoms for six months, associated with functional impairment. To remember that six symptoms are required, you can visualize the eye in inattentive, which has six points as shown here. Next, let's outline the hyperactivity impulsivity symptoms. There are nine hyperactivity impulsivity symptoms, which you can remember with the mnemonic fidgeting. Fidgeting, interrupting people or blurting out answers. Darting around, which refers to running and climbing inappropriately. Getting up from their seat inappropriately. Being overly energetic or restless. Being overly talkative. Intruding on others. Being inappropriately noisy. And getting out of line, which refers to not waiting or taking turns well. To meet criteria for the hyperactive impulsive subtype of ADHD, similarly to the inattentive subtype, a patient must have at least six of these symptoms for six months associated with functional impairment. To remember that six symptoms are required, you can similarly visualize the H in hyperactivity, which has six points as shown here. There is also a combined subtype of ADHD, which simply involves meeting the criteria for both the inattentive and hyperactive subtypes. These are the major details to remember about the ADHD diagnosis, but there are two last criteria to know as well. The first is that symptom onset must be at less than 12 years old. The second is that the symptoms must present in at least two settings, for example, in the home and at school or work. That's the end of this talk. I hope this simplification makes it easy to remember ADHD. Thank you.